the Pacific Islands nation of Palau, serious efforts are underway to enhance water security in the remote, outlying states as residents there are learning to cope with climate variability and change. One such effort is the European Union-funded Global Climate Change Alliance Pacific Small Island States project, currently being implemented by the Government of Palau with assistance from the Secretariat of the Pacific Community, SPC. This is the first project to comprehensively try to address water security in all five outlying island states, each of which faces unique water-related challenges relating to existing water infrastructure, topography, accessibility and climate variability. The distance from Kaiengol in the north to Hatobai in the south is more than 300 miles. The two southernmost states of Hatobai and Suntorol are the most remote, with irregular boat schedules and rough sea conditions, resulting in water storage tanks running dry on occasion. One of the big part of the project is to get the people aware of uh, um, quality, making sure that they're protecting their drinking uh, water sources. And uh, if it's the catchment, then uh, we're installing leaf feeders and uh, first flush devices which help uh, keep the dirt and all the stuff that's on top of the roof from getting into the rainwater uh, tank. Over the years, because uh, of uh, some lack of maintenance, you know, it's hard out here in the islands to find parts. Three of the outer, outer islands in Palau um, have water systems and uh, the problems that we've been facing over the years is just uh, you know, repairing of the leaks. We're trying to standardize uh, uh, stuff within the corporation, uh, with the P uh, Palau Public Utilities Corporation. And so hopefully we'll, the project will get these uh, guys certified so they can uh, maintain, operate and maintain those systems. We're going through all of them, checking for leaks and making the necessary repairs. And we've uh, gone so far as to uh, uh, repair the leaks in the individual homes. In Toby, it started to have drought for the past three months. We have wells on the island, but it's brackish water. For drinking, people depend on coconut. We're really thankful to the European Union to give us uh, tanks that can hold up to, we can stretch that uh, water in there for a year if we really conserve the water. And it's been a long time in Angar, since when there's no rain, we always get the water from school for drinking. And it's almost three months, I think, there's no rain. It's very dry. And also we don't drink the water from the faucet because the water is no good. There is something in the water and also it smells. Sometimes the people drink that water from faucet, they get sick because there is no filler, filter to make it clean. Sometimes the people from Koro always come here to check the water. They try their best to make it clean so the people in Angkor can drink it. A lot of partnerships uh, was happening as we began the project. The one that made a, a really big difference is uh, with the U.S. Civic Action Team. They actually uh, went all the way down to the island and spending a whole week uh, working on a, an existing tank. So one of the key challenges had to do with the merging of uh, the water and sewage uh, in combination with uh, the electric uh, company. Um, combined together, it became the public, um, Palau Public uh, Utilities Corporation. When we uh, um, reached a point where um, there was no movement in the project, we, we would actually make time to meet with the CEO, for example, of the PPUC, and also with the governors uh, representing their states, and uh, figure out that fine line of what can be done within both framework. And what helped us really bridge the gap was clear and consistent communication. Some of the islands, actually two of them, the southernmost, are 
pretty far, close to 300 miles, and uh, they don't have their own transportation, so they have to hire private boats uh, to take them down on regular state visits. Island situation, we have to, from the dive boat, transport uh, materials to the island on a smaller speedboat, an 18-footer, five tons of material. It took us almost two days to go back and forth, and, and this is also weather dependent and tide dependent. In November 2013, Typhoon Haiyan struck Palau, causing great devastation, especially in the northernmost state of Kayengo. Part of the project, we sped up uh, uh, purchasing of uh, pumps to get them uh, back online and a backup generator to help them uh, to help power those pumps and uh, at least have uh, water for the people as they were uh, rebuilding. Besides working in the water sector, the Global Climate Change Alliance Pacific Small Island States project has provided support to Palau, together with other development partners, to prepare a national climate change policy, which is backed up by an action plan and budget. First time at the national level, we've convened um, input from various stakeholders uh, to develop a climate change policy. This policy was developed over a two-year period, maybe even longer than that, with very uh, with extensive consultations, um, government agencies, communities, private sector, and individuals. By the end of that consultation, we were able to not only provide a sort of uh, direction for how to move forward with our climate change, um, how to address climate change impacts uh, presently as well as in the years to come, in addition to addressing, helping us to address climate change impacts, the policy also helps us by providing uh, guidance and targets on how to reduce our, on how to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. People are being relocated to higher grounds because their islands are disappearing as a result of sea level rise. We don't have to convince ourselves about the, the effects of the typhoons, the natural disasters. Jeez, we used to feel sorry for our neighbors in Guam and Saipan. And now we've had two typhoons in a row to Palau. So, you know, the, the biggest predictability is the unpredictability of it. One of the objectives of the climate change policy is to ensure that every person in Palau understands the nature of climate change, its impacts, and what they can do individually as well as the actions that need to be taken at a national and international level to reduce its impacts.